Okay, uh, everything I have here totals to about 143. Uh, some of it's trades, uh, some of it um, I paid cash for. And let's see. Uh, oh, oh, also, uh, the part of what's not here is some jewelry that my wife bought, like about $20 worth, that she immediately put out so it didn't make it into uh, this video. Anyway. Um, my best find of the day, and it actually wasn't even a find. I give out business cards, and uh, in this case, one of the business cards I gave out paid off. Someone contacted me. They uh, said they got a bunch of games. They want like a, they for, they just spit out like eighty bucks for everything. Um, so I said, "What are the games?" They gave me the list, and I was like, "I'll take them." So I was like, uh, "Do you want me to come pick them up?" Because it was actually a really good deal. And they were like, uh, "No, I'll just bring them to you at the flea market." They basically brought them to me at the flea market, uh, handed me these games, and I paid eighty bucks. And I actually was surprised some of them in clean condition. Uh, these games, actually, I've already had some people um, that have laid claim to them. And part of the reason I'm not putting them on until Tuesday is because my wife snagged them. And she put some of them on Amazon. Um, but before she put, before, um, I just want to show them. You know, I took them back and said, well, let me show them so I could um, get them on. Um, so people could see what I found. Anyway, for 80 bucks, well, this is probably the um, great find of the day. I got a Mario Kart. I got a Super... Uh, Mario 64 and obviously they were owned by someone named Evan because I don't know if you could see that there let me see what the back looks like yeah EM so his initials must have been Evan M uh, I got a Mortal Kombat 4 and I think right here there's probably like about $80 uh, worth of games or near 80 and I got a Spider-Man I don't think that's right you know I don't get these games very much uh, lately um, the games have been getting very uh, competitive even at the flea markets, I'm watching um, the sellers as they're pulling stuff, like the cleanup guys, as they're pulling stuff out of their vans, they're taking cues from all the kids with their phones, and they're, like, looking stuff up. They're, like, Pokemon Stadium. They go on Amazon, they check the price, they go, oh, this is a $20 game, and they slap a $20 sticker on it, and, um, and there it is. You know, you don't get to uh, get it for, like, cheap anymore. But anyway, uh, Pokemon Stadium, not really sure if that's a $20 game or a $30 game. It's maybe $25. Haven't had it in a bit. And actually, it doesn't even make sense for me to quote what I think the prices are sometimes. Uh, Madden 99, that game has no value, but I don't care. Um, Rugrats, when, when I get a really good deal on stuff, I don't go like, well, I don't want these games. Will you take, if you take those games out, what will you sell them to me for? I'm just like, you know, you, like whether you know it or not, you're giving me a really good deal, and I'll just I'll take everything. I'm not going to be a dick. Uh, Rugrats, Scavenger Hunt, which I don't believe has any value. Um, but I got Pokemon Puzzle League. I don't know the value of that one. I've got to check it. Hey, you Pikachu, which um, someone told me you can play without the microphone. You just have to hit a certain button. I'm not sure on the value of that one. Um, this probably has no real value, bottom of the ninth. Um, for some reason, there was two Pokemon Snaps. Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Snap again. And mostly the game labels are pretty clean, you know? I'm probably going to bag these. I, I actually had them bagged for Amazon, but I took them out real quick, and I'll rebag them when I get a chance. Uh, Super Smash Brother. That's probably $50, $60 game. Don't know. You know, I haven't had it in a bit, and the price is jumping so quickly. I think the last one I had was like $50, $60. Um, Kirby 64. Um, this is the only one that someone was there, and they, uh, they actually lame claim on it, and they're going to bring me some trade stuff for it. Um, Raymond 2, The Great Escape, not really sure. Cuccio. Maybe it's, no, an EM. Someone named Cuccio. Cucci. Uh, and then, I, again, all for 80 bucks. I was really happy with that deal. I, I'm not really, sh uh, you know, in my head there's 200 plus in games right there. A Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo in okay condition. And I was like, um, didn't care about this, but here it is. Guitar Hero on tour. Okay, so that kind of covers the games, and I'm actually, for me, this is great. I haven't been finding any old school. Believe it or not, I don't even have any Nintendo 64s uh, after that other one I told you about. Oh, no, I didn't tell you about it. Well, anyway, I don't even have any Nintendo 64s right now, and someone, I know, a good friend of mine is asking for one, and I'm, like, scrambling around, and I'm passing um, the sale on to someone else just because this is a good friend of mine. Uh, who wants it? And I and this is a, also a, the, the person I'm passing the sale on to is also a friend of mine, and I often like I direct sales to him. I'm like that. I'm I'm an all right guy. 
continuing on with um, the games that I found that day, nothing special. Uh, I didn't actually buy these. These were someone who I'd sold the games to before. And uh, he played the games and he was tired of them or he didn't want them anymore. So um, he traded me a music CD for those two games. Uh, and I was like, okay, fine. Uh, $2 at a PlayStation 2 memory card. I seem to be able to sell them for 4 or $5. And uh, then this was for $10. And I, but this is funny. Like, I don't really know if they do this on purpose. Uh, but to, I don't know if, the, you know, sometimes people have these weird ulterior motives. Now, these are two, uh, obviously, Xbox controllers, right? And um, instead of, like, putting the sticker somewhere where you could see this is, like, a Mad Cat, not an official Xbox. And this is, um, I don't even know who makes this one. But it's obviously not an official Xbox um, controller. I mean, it's an Xbox controller, but that does not say Xbox if you look at that sticker. So they put it right there. So I guess if they were trying to sell it to somebody, they wouldn't um, realize it wasn't an official Xbox controller. Some people are really particular about that. They want, if they have an Xbox game, they want to use an Xbox controller, whatever. Um, then I got 007 Agent on the Fire. And then I got a game I have never heard of before. Um, Gun Valkyrie. I don't believe I've ever had it. Which doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean it'll have any significant value or not. Um, I'll look it up. I'll find out. Okay, that cut, that's it, games. Um, goodbye, game people. Uh, going on to CDs. Buck a piece. Just bought uh, an assortment of CDs that I will either price in the two, three, four, five, or five, um, four, um, five, three for ten range. This is kind of cool. I'm, some of them I'm going to look up, but most of them, like Salt and Pepper, they've been on TV a lot lately. Then I, I like compilations where they do the decades. Um, 60s rock, 50s rock. Uh, Norris Barkley, I like uh, his music, ABBA. And that, of course, is um, what's his name from uh, The Voice. Not The Voice. American Idol. Um, nope. The Voice, that's right, The Voice. Uh, Dukes of, Best of Dukes of Disneyland. Old-timey music, I buy because people want it. Beach Boys, can't go wrong, Beach Boys. Harry Belafonte, people who like Calypso or Island music. Then I've decided to start buying stuff like movie and Broadway um, CD sets. Because I'm going to lot them on eBay. And I, they, they're difficult to sell at the flea markets. I think I'm going to stick mostly with rock and really popular pop music at the flea markets, like the most current stuff lately, because I'm getting tired of like uh, toting the other stuff around and it's killing my car. Um, the tribute to Notorious Big. Um, if I don't have it on my iPod, I'm going to put it on. And uh, I don't think it'll be difficult to sell. This is kind of neat. Uh, actually I actually have another piece by this artist. This came from a estate sale of a friend of mine. And uh, I don't know. I, I know who the artist is. He's, he's listed. I don't think he's the kind of thing that everybody's like, oh my God, they'll pay a million dollars for it, because I, I actually know he isn't. Um, but it's kind of cool. It's an interesting piece. Fireplace, got a gun in it. Uh, got a um, grandfather clock. So we'll see. You know, I have to do some research. I might have to do a lot of work to sell it. And if I do, it's going to be like 100 plus on eBay. If I, t if I took it to the flea market, I would try and get... Oh, actually, I didn't pay anything for it. It was a trade. Um, good friend of mine, again, we look out for each other. If I see something he likes, I buy it, and I bring it to him. And, uh, and then when I see something of his that I like, he'll uh, cut me a break, or we'll do a trade. This is kind of neat. Um, obviously, it's Native American Indian in theme. And uh, I'm not, I haven't seen stuff like this so much before. It's got an H and a P on the back of it, which I have no clue. It's obviously someone's initials beats me. But it, it's just um, a nice piece of, uh, well, it's from a tree. And they, and they carved the person's face in it. Sometimes they call these totems or whatever. I don't really know. But it's cool. It was only $5. I can figure out who the dude is that made this. Um, it, then on eBay it might have a decent value. I don't know what I'll do at, uh, yet at the flea market. That requires a little bit of research for me. Most like other stuff, you know, that, that I don't really know what it is. I got to do the work and figure out what it is. But anyway, that's it. This was actually stuff I got on Sunday. Um, very happy to have gotten that because that was a great deal for me. Uh, the rest of the stuff is okay. I got to figure it out. And um, this actually, someone was begging me for um, a Wii Moat and Controller. Um, so I was like, okay, I can't, you know, it's, 
normally I say no because if I sell the controller, then I can't um, I can't sell a system. But we system sell very difficultly, very slowly. I, I'm having trouble getting 40 bucks for them complete. So I said, you know what? Uh, give me 10 bucks for the controller and with the nunchuck, and they were happy to give it to me. And now it's like now. I'm, I'm going to make some money because I have more controllers and it's not a problem for me to get another one. And even if it were, were I swear to God, I've had this uh, this particular system and I know for a fact since before Christmas, so who cares? Uh, at least I, I got $10. Anyway, that's it. That's everything I got uh, on Sunday at the Carney Flea Market.